Just before we get into this video guys, if you want to follow me on social media, on Twitter and Instagram, the links are here. And if you also want to support me on Patreon as well and help out my channel, that would be absolutely awesome as well. But, let's get on with the video. Hello everyone and welcome to a brand new episode of Why You Should Watch, the series where... I mean, if you can't guess from the title, then I can't help you. So, and welcome to the most pointless fucking video on the internet, because I'm pretty sure 99.9% .9 of people have seen this film. However, if you have not seen this film, fucking sort your shit out. What are you doing? It's on ITV2 every pissing week. So yeah, this time out in Why You Should Watch, I'm talking about what I think is the greatest zombie movie ever. And that is, of course, as you've seen from the title and the thumbnail, Shaun of the Dead. I can't believe that this film is like 15 years old. It doesn't feel like it. And to be honest, even though it is 15 years old, it doesn't feel old. This movie is so rewatchable and so quotable. So for those like the two of you watching this that haven't seen it, Shaun of the Dead is a film that follows, funnily enough, a guy called Sean, played by Simon Pegg, who has a really sort of mundane life. He just goes to a job that he doesn't really like. He's got a stepdad that he doesn't like. He's in a relationship that she's kind of getting fed up with and they just go to the pub all the time. Him and his mate just go to the pub all the time. He's just your average day-to-day -day guy. But then a zombie apocalypse happens. Now, what I love the most about Shaun of the Dead, I think, is the actual characters in the film. They feel the most genuine and they feel the most real out of any horror genre movie I think that I've ever seen. Now, I've not seen them all, so I could be wrong on that, but I love how grounded all of the characters are in this film. Sean and Ed are essentially us, nerds. Like, they're making pop culture references throughout this entire film, and that's what I love. They're even making references to other zombie films as well. It's just so cleverly done and so cleverly written. Like I said at the top of this video as well, this movie is quotable as hell. There are so many lines of dialogue in this film that to this day, me and my mates still quote to each other. We say it all the time. You got red on you. Like this is probably one of the only films that I can just quote word for word pretty much. Like it is that memorable. And I think the trio of Simon Pegg, Nick Frost and Edgar Wright, you are guaranteed at least a great movie. I think The World's End is a bit iffy, but Shaun of the Dead and Hot Fuzz I think are great movies. And I think the reason why it is so funny is going back to what I was saying a bit before where it is so grounded and it is so down to earth that the things that they're doing in this film, that's exactly what you would do if you ended up in this situation. You would just go to the pub, lock yourself in and just hope for the best. Obviously there's a few other subplots in this film as well. It's not just about two lads trying to go to the pub. His girlfriend broke up with him, he's trying to win her back, he's trying to sort out his relationship with his mum who he doesn't really see. Like I said before, he's got a stepdad that he doesn't like. So there's so many different things going on in this film. Oh yeah, they got a dickhead roommate as well. Pete. Pete! Oi, oh, prick! Yeah, he's not in. But this film isn't afraid to do the stereotypical zombie gore, either. There are plenty of moments in this film that you could see in any other zombie film or any other horror film. And that's, again, what makes it more grounded and realistic, the fact that even though it is the undead coming to life, they still make it realistic, so people will get bitten, people will get disemboweled, people will get injured. Excuse me? Hello? Oh my... God, she is so drunk. Now let's talk about Edgar Wright for a second. Now I mentioned before about how these three working together is just genius, and it is. But I think Edgar Wright really is the icing on the cake here because his direction, and it's the same with Hot Fuzz as well, and The World's End, the way that he directs films, he will take a shot that is incredibly ordinary and incredibly mundane and make it funny, make it witty, make it unique. Hot Fuzz especially, I noticed this, but there is evidence of it in Shaun of the Dead as well. The way that he will set up a shot, like for example the montage of, okay, so this is the plan, go to the Winchester, blah 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 blah, you know the scene. The way that that scene is both shot and cut together is just not like anything that I've seen before by any other director. I know other directors do like fast paced montages, but it's the way that Edgar Wright does it, there's just something about how he puts a scene together that really makes it come to life. And there's really ingenious foreshadowing in this film as well, including some of the shots that Edgar Wright directed. So there's one thing where Sean comes downstairs and he's sort of shuffling and he's going but he's actually yawning. And it's like a reference to, haha, you thought he was a zombie, well he's not, but there is gonna be zombies. And then of course as well, there's a scene that 
I don't think anybody realizes this. Well, I think quite a few people realize this, but not everybody. The scene in the pub where Ed and Sean are talking towards the beginning of the film, they literally tell you the entire plot of the film. Their conversation follows the exact same events of the film. It is so geniusly done because when you watch it for the first time, of course you're not gonna pick up on it. And the first few times that you watch this film, you might not pick up on it. But once you actually realize that that conversation mimics the film, it's just incredible. I mean, Simon Pegg, Nick Frost, they have such an incredible chemistry together as well. And they are really the glue that holds this together. They are the main base of the cake, if we're doing a cake metaphor like I apparently am. The entire cast is great and the entire cast really gels well, but it is those two and their dynamic that really drives this forward. Obviously they are in real life, but you can tell that these two are incredibly close friends. And because that relationship is so believable, that's what makes this film so engaging. If you didn't have that and you had two actors that don't really click the same way that these two do, I don't think the film works as well. I don't really know what more I can say about it because like I said at the start, it feels like the most redundant video ever because everybody has pretty much seen this film. It is genuinely one of the greatest films ever made, in my opinion. I do think it is the best zombie film. It's a funny as fuck film as well. Don't point that thing at Barbara. It is just an all round perfect film. I don't have a fault with it. I can't really say that, oh yeah, so this, this was great and that was great, whatever. But that could have been better. I honestly can't I can't think of anything where I would actually improve it. I genuinely can't think of anything. But in the comments below guys, let me know what you think of Shaun of the Dead. Do you love it as much as I do? Do you hate it? Think it's overrated? Or have you not seen it? Whatever it is, let me know. I'm probably going to do more videos on the Cornetto trilogy. I've got an idea buzzing away in my head that I'm really excited for, so hopefully we can get that out there. And if you guys want to see it, then let me know. Obviously you don't know exactly what it is, but it's going to be a slightly different video. I don't know when it's going to come out, all depends on circumstance, but yeah, I've got an idea. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you leave a like on it, subscribe for more, social media and Patreon links will be in the description below, so if you'd follow me on any of those things, I would absolutely love you forever. But until next time guys, you take care of yourselves, goodbye. I had to put the hoodie on because I was wearing a dirty top. I've got white on me. See, toothpaste, not cum. <laughs>